Firstly, on behalf of everyone like myself with very small bladders, thank you very much for the interval. <laughs> I didn't get to miss any of the film. I got to go out, get another drink. Often my ex used to sing to me the song Alton John, Tiny Dancer. Oh, not again, you tiny bladder. And halfway through <laughs> a movie, I'd just quietly sneak out and you could just hear him go, Oh, not again, you tiny bladder. <laughs> so I know if I was to see this film, at least I could enjoy the film at uh, half time. So thank you for that. So you don't have the app on, on, on your phone, Run P? What? There's an app. There's an app called Run P. That's you can, brilliant. You, you can Google, I mean, you, you stick the film name in it, and it tells you when it's safe for you to go and pee and ah, not miss that's anything great. in that's the movie. Funny. Not miss anything I that's going to happen. I am investing in that as soon as so I leave this room. Awesome that is app. brilliant. <laughs> that's great. I mean, you, you've changed my life. Yeah. You've changed my world. Uh, the one thing that did stand out for me in the film, and I wrote it straight down into my phone afterwards, was the location. Beautifully haunting, inviting yet isolating. Did you guys find that as well when you were filming? It's pretty good. Kind of, Kurt lives out there. Uh, so. Yeah, I live not too far from there. So, Does that mean you, you could know. commute home just at the I end did, of the day? Yeah, yeah? I, I had some long weekends where I had an extra day so I could go home. Well, he'd just ski on down the mountain and <laughs> <laughs> cross-country ski to his house. It was, a, it, was a, it, was, it was a nice winter, too. I mean, we had a nice... We didn't, it, was it was a couple mild. of days where it was... It was you know, actually right. mild up there. It was, yeah. it was amazing to me. Yeah. I would actually look out the window some days and see people walking around in shorts yeah. and, like, ski boots. Yeah. Yeah. Also, what was terrifying was Jennifer Jason Leigh, OMG, pure <laughs> evil. Yeah. How was it face to face <laughs> dealing with it? She was incredible. She was incredible. She's, you know, as a human being, she's really sweet and she was yeah. just great and she just invented this character. Yeah. That just she's the one that surprised us the most, mm. you know, because during rehearsal we were all like, we were almost all already there. So right. we were in these places and it wasn't until she got in costume and got in that stagecoach and I saw for the first time in that stagecoach that I realized just how crazy and dangerous she was. Yeah, you know, yeah. prior to that, she was kind of in the room, just kind of like, mm, she'd say her lines, yeah. we'd look at You her. wouldn't want to mess up her coffee order. No. Like, you would absolutely be terrified. You would chain to it for four and a half months. I know. I was, uh, you know, it was really a, a series of uh, experiences where you, you began to find out things about each other and the characters that mm. you're playing and stuff like that. So it was a Stockholm Syndrome type thing. And um, just being chained to her was, uh, you know, you, you began to realize, oh, you just don't, you don't just walk over there now because mm. that person's got to know you're going to do that. Um, so that, being chained to someone is an experience, it's, it's kind of unique. You guys have worked with Quentin before too. I get a sense of loyalty from him because not only yourselves but Zoe Bell as well, she's appeared in several of his films. You guys keep coming back. It's his talent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all about working with someone who's telling a great story and is going to make an exciting film. And you know he's going to write a character in there for you that's going to be like really like awesome. I have to finish with the Hurtful Eight questions. These were sent in by our listeners. First one, one word you would use to describe each other. Versatile. <clears throat> Loyal. When was the last time you cried? What? Last time you cried. That's, that's my answer. What? <laughs> Send me like that. She doesn't cry. <laughs> I was watching a movie. I forget what the movie was. I'm a crier in a movie sometimes, though. But oh, you were watching something on the plane. You yeah. said you cried. Oh, Love and Mercy. Love yeah. and Mercy. Love and Mercy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah, they made that, that made me kind of go. Yeah. yeah, for me, it's always Forrest Gump. There was just this one scene. Sets me off every single time. Otherwise, I'm an ice queen. <laughs> uh, have you ever walked out of a movie? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever done that. I'm, I'm so cheap that I, I paid my money. I'm watching this thing no, no matter how bad it gets. No, no, no. <laughs> Have you ever sent back a meal? Yeah. I've been with people who have. Yeah. I think I have. I did just the other day. Did you? Yeah. yeah. See, I, 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 that's why I, I, I Have you ever scored something for free by dropping your name? Yeah. Yeah? What was the last thing you scored? By dropping my name. Like I hide. Well, I do that all the time. Yeah. I can't. I, I don't. I can't. I, I can't. I can't do that. Fuck <laughs> that. I can't do that. I know. It's That's like, the best part of being famous. I know, and I don't have that That's gene. People I, go, I, I miss that. That's what people go. It's like, what's the great thing about being that. famous? <laughs> Free shit. Fold or scrunch your toilet paper. I fold. <laughs> Samuel Kerr, thank you so much. Strangely for enough, time. <laughs> you know, not when I think about it. Yeah, no, it's not. You're not a big old ball. But I may become a stretcher. <laughs> just, you know, just for some change. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. Fold this.